Daddy, tell me, does the sun really send us rays? The sun is a star which lights the Earth and gives the energy needed to sustain life. How about we go and see it close up? Great idea! If we get nearer to the star of the day, then the lesson will become much clearer. Wait a minute, though. I've just had supper, and with your driving, I'll be seasick. Knowledge is a great gift obtained through hard work. Seen from Earth, the sun seems about the same size as the moon, but in reality, it's an enormous ball, 109 times bigger than the Earth. The sun is a mass of constantly fusing gas, which transforms this material into rays and energy. It loses four million tons of material every second. And there's me who can't even lose a pound on a diet. The energy emitted reaches us here on Earth in the forms of heat, light and rays that are invisible to the human eye. And to animal eyes. The main rays emitted by the sun are light rays. They're indispensable for life itself. The light makes plants grow, the animals eat the plants, and humans eat both plants and animals. On the surface of the sun, the temperature is 4,200 degrees, but at its centre, it is 15 million degrees. That's a gigantic amount of heat, and thanks to that, the sun warms up the planets nearest to it. To the four Tellurian planets Mercury, Venus, Mars, and... and... Ah, uh, 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 a pizza. The Earth. And while the sun warms the Earth, it's the atmosphere, which is a layer of air that envelops the planet and retains heat, a bit like a greenhouse. Without this greenhouse effect, the heat would escape into space. Slow down a minute. We're getting too close. I might get sunburnt. Yes, be careful, because in the ultraviolet rays that come from the sun, sometimes called UV rays, there are good A rays, which give us sun tans, and bad B rays, which give us sunburn. The sun also sends us X-rays and gamma rays, which are very dangerous. But I am the cosmic superhero who will save the Earth from total destruction by stopping the mortal rays sent by those evil space baddies. I wouldn't bother. The Earth is already protected by an electric layer, which bounces them back like a shield. This is called the Van Allen Belt. Come on, let's head for Earth. Take your glasses off. I'm going to show you a phenomenon close up that very few Earthlings have seen. The Aurora Borealis. The Audio Polaris? The awful breakfast? The aurora is the pale light that always precedes sunrise. The sun also sends us electrical particles known as solar winds. It is these electrical particles that literally illuminate the air molecules in the upper atmosphere and which cause those fantastic blue and pink luminous layers in the night sky. But only inhabitants who live near the North or South Pole get the opportunity of seeing these on certain magical evenings. So you see, the sun sends us all kinds of rays. Oh, that's beautiful. Sunny's rising. Bricky is ready. To the table. Breakfast time. But I thought you just had supper. Goodbye, Earthlings. Bon appétit. So, does the sun really send us rays? Yep, all kinds. Obviously, there are light rays and heat rays, but there are also invisible rays, some of which can be very dangerous. But without the rays from the sun, there would be no life on Earth. <laughs>